Well, Happy New Year. New league year, that is. The 2024-2025 league year for the NFL starts officially today. Uh, Do you have any New Year's resolutions? One of mine is that we break our playoff streak, we get off this quarterback carousel, and that the Denver Broncos make the playoffs. And I think we made a couple under-the-radar moves today that move us closer in that direction. So let's dive into the news of the day. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ben. I am a diehard Denver Broncos fans, and I am uh, covering it for us every single day. If you like that kind of content, it helps me out a ton if you would like and subscribe. So the news of the day uh, is that the Denver Broncos signed a couple guys that I was hoping would come back. They are guys that Sean Payton put his neck out for last year, uh, and people kind of doubted them, and then they ended up being like some of my favorite players to watch last year. So the first one uh, is another University of Texas uh, graduate, or not graduate, he he was drafted his junior year, but another alum of University of Texas, Go Horns, I think is what everyone tells me to say. Uh, so that he is Lil Jordan Humphreys. I guess his brother, his older brother, wanted, when his mom was pregnant, wanted to name the baby after Michael Jordan. And she decided, like, hey, that might be a little too much pressure. So we'll call him Lil Jordan Humphreys. And there's nothing little about him. Uh, dude is 6'4, so same height as Cortland Sutton. Quite a bit younger, a lot less miles on him. And we saw some explosion from him. He was a high school running back. And you see a lot of like Derrick Henry type movement after the catch. He definitely does not have the pure route running that a Cortland Sutton has. But when he gets the ball in space, I felt like a lot of times, especially after that injury, Cortland was going down as soon as he caught the ball, sometimes even before, and sometimes he dropped the ball. Uh, But you see when you're used to always having the ball in your hands, catching it is just one of the parts, and that's when the real job starts. Uh, And that makes me super excited. I think the most explosive play that had me hyped last year was the Jarrett Stidham pass to him, the 54-yarder here. Um, And you just watch him like, boop, breaking ankles. Right here, just just shake and bake all day. Look at that. I mean, that that's a move that a 6'4 dude should not be making. Uh, cuts it upfield, and again, like the little hezzy drop back step. And I don't think I saw Cortland Sutton make any of these moves like in his entire time as a Denver Bronco. So I'm real high on this guy, his height, his playmaking after the ball, and the fact that he had other suitors and wanted to come here. He played, uh, he was a New Orleans Saint, loved Sean Payton, and wanted to come back. Now, this all brings up a recent rumor. So we heard after the Jerry Judy trade that definitively we heard from the the experts that Cortland Sutton was off of the trade books and that he wasn't going to be traded. But we've seen a lot of teams go out and give high picks and top dollar for getting a NFL wide receiver. We saw Calvin Ridley just get insane amount of money today from the Texans. And like Calvin Ridley's not even that good. I, I mean, the Titans, not the Texans. And uh, so Cortland Sutton, now I I just have a feeling here that he could end up back with Russell Wilson in Pittsburgh. So we saw that Pittsburgh Steelers moved on from Deontay um, and, and Deontay Jones, I believe. And he was kind of, you know, there were some issues with him and like how hard was he playing towards the end and missed a key block, didn't dive for a um didn't die for a fumble. And I just don't think Russell Wilson's like rah, rah mentality would work with that. So he is now a Panther and it looks as if the Steelers really want to get some help at wide receiver. So might the Pittsburgh Steelers give us some picks for Cortland Sutton Uh, at this point in time. I think this will be Sutton's last year on this deal. I do not expect signing him long-term. So depending on who we end up drafting at quarterback or who we get at quarterback, um, if unless that wide receiver is like a safety blanket and helps that young quarterback develop, I would love if we could get some draft capital for trading Cortland Sutton. And, and we know how he felt about Russell Wilson. We know he's, he's made some like tweets recently that makes him seem like he's got a foot out the door anyways. So could we see this happen? Uh, drop it in the comments. Like what would you want to see for Cortland Sutton to part with him? There's, there've been rumors that if we were to take the entire Russell Wilson hit this year, we might even just straight up cut him for nothing like we did with Justin Simmons. I wouldn't be cool with that. I've loved him, love that 1-4, but I could see a world where, man, if we could get a second-round draft pick for Cortland Sutton from the Steelers, I, I feel like I would jump on that, but I could be in the minority on there. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of talk on the interwebs about, like, what are the Broncos doing? We cleared up all of this cap space, and what was the purpose of it? And it seems as if um, as we divide up that $89 million cap hit, 
we can decide what year we want to take the bigger chunk of it. And it seems as if we're clearing, cleaning up right now so that we take the, the bulk of that hit right now. And then we hope the cap goes up. We hope Russ signs to a long-term deal. And by doing so, the cap hit next year is not bad. Hopefully we have the quarterback of the future next year and we're just off and running. So that could be super exciting. Uh, the next big thing that happened is that we had Adam Troutman signed back with the Denver Broncos. And I think this is a great move for a number of reasons. I think he brings in a, a veteran presence. I think he can kind of be our plan B if Dulcich does not return to a state of health. I think we saw Troutman have that amazing catch where he just had like one of his his butt cheeks on the on the inbounds and that was like awesome. So he can catch. He he wasn't really like released in a way that had me really excited. He definitely didn't look like a Jimmy Graham or um, you know, uh, Jeremy Shockey or like some of Sean Payton's other tight ends. But I hope that as he continues to learn the, the offense, that that all could come. What we see here is that he was really high on coming back to the Broncos. So I love looking at Mike Kliss. He did a tweet this thread here where he interviewed Troutman about like, why here? And one of the thing, things he said was, I've always wanted to come back to Denver. Um, I love George Payton and Sean Payton. I know we had work to do in this offseason. I was trying to stay Peyton, patient, and this is the thing uh, right here that had me excited. When Denver goes back to the playoffs, I want to be part of that. Who was leading the room? Who was leading that room? I want to be part of that. I believe this is the right staff to do it. So people can call me crazy or a homer for saying I think the Denver Broncos are on the rebound. We hit our rock bottom. Our rock bottom was losing that game to the Patriots, the uh, nightmare before Christmas Eve, and I'll never forget that. And that was rock bottom, and we are bouncing back hard. And I think Troutman shows that. I think Lutz coming back and not going to Jacksonville. I think you you see the excitement from all of our young guys. And P.J. Locke, we just got an amazing run stuffer to play defensive tackle. I think the big question marks now is truly, like, what is going to happen in the NFL draft? Who are we targeting with that 12th pick? Are we trying to trade up for a quarterback? Are we trying to take the best available? We know that we truly have some issues uh, in the middle of there after lo losing Josie Jewell. Do we trust Jonas Griffith to come in and wear the green sticker on his helmet, meaning the calls come in to him and he's making the calls just like Josie did? Will that task get handed off to um, you know Singleton? What's going to happen there? And truly, what are the Broncos intending to do with quarterback? There are a lot of folks who are still high on Stidham. I, I saw some flashes there, at least that he was performing at Russ's level. And you would just hope with an entire offseason where you're taking snaps with the ones where you know that you're the dude. Even Troutman talked about how he's always one of the last guys to leave. And he's like, I always see Stidham's car in the lot when I leave. And he's here when I get there in the morning. And so is Stidham smart enough to come in and do this? We gave him top dollar as a backup last year because Sean Payton believes in him. I think Sean Payton not even putting in an offer for Darnold, didn't even put in an offer for uh, Minshew or any of that. It doesn't seem like there's another, um, you know, veteran quarterback out there that Sean Payton would prefer over Stidham, and that's got to make us feel pretty excited. Last question, if you're still watching. Uh, I've talked multiple times on this channel. My, I was born and raised in Denver, Colorado during covid family moved to a much more affordable place in Michigan. So I have a dilemma for the NFL draft. I want to hear in the comments, what do y'all think I should do? So I'm like two and a half hours from Detroit where I live, which is where the draft is this year. So should I go stand in a mass of people and hope I have cell phone reception and like live stream when the Broncos make their selection and he walks across the stage? My guess is like they're expecting 70,000 people. So my guess is I'd have to like film it and then do a debrief after or should I stay right here in my cozy, warm basement with seven foot, six foot ceilings and uh, live stream for you, interact with the chat? Um, I'm really torn because like when else could I go watch the NFL draft? But also like I think it'd be a lot more fun to watch it with y'all on here. So let me know in the chat what I should do. And Broncos country, it's time to giddy up. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me I hit record. Oh, Yes.